You may well think at first glance that I'm sat in some beautiful nature reserve somewhere. I'm not. I'm sat in the middle of a former mining town in North Nottinghamshire. This is the middle of Market Warsaw. I'm sat in some waste ground, waste ground which has been transformed by Mother Nature. Now, to many people, this site is just waste ground, good for nothing, useless. It wants building on. To me, this is absolute heaven. And it's the same for invertebrates as well, because this area of wasteland that's been here for several years now in the centre of Market Warsaw is a haven for insects. And it looks lovely. It took only a couple of years since this was first cleared for it to now become vegetated over. The blue flowers that you can see are those blue flower spikes. And the flower spikes are Vipers buglus, which is a dream for honeybees and bumblebees. They love it. Consequently, there's lots visiting the many flowers of it here. But there's also lots of all the bits, there's vetches, clovers, thistles, there's a lot of valerian around the corner and just behind the camera. This has always been a hot spot in times of migration for hummingbird hawk moth and we'll have a walk around in a minute and we'll see what we can find. But it's just an absolute picture, it really is. Sites like this in the middle of towns and cities are real havens for wildlife. And while they're here, because they tend to be transient, it pays to record the, on them as much as possible. I've done a bit of recording here and I found some decent stuff and what I'll do at some time during this video, I'll insert some photos of the species that's been found here. But it's beautiful. You don't have to go too far to find nature. Nature is often on your doorstep. As you can see, Vipers buglus is everywhere. The shrubs at the background are all goat sallow, and there's quite a lot of Budlia. Budlia is always one of the first colonisers of brownfield sites such as this. There's so much nectar bearing flowers here. The spear thistles will almost certainly hold eggs or very young larvae of a painted lady. I might actually have a look for them. It's just an absolute joy. I have Vipers buglus in the garden because the bumblebees do love it. And it's a plant that's well worth putting in your garden. It is the most remarkable blue. It's a cracking plant, isn't it? It flowers well. The stems are quite strong and stout, so they'll withstand all but the most torrential of thunderstorms that tends to flatten them down a bit but they produce flower after flower each of these old clusters of flowers and you can see that there's more buds waiting to open it really is a beautiful plant of course all of the buildings that used to be here are now long gone 
fact that the company that was here built my wooden staircase many years ago. This area of hard standing remains. This is where the car park was, if I remember right. But where all the vipers, buglers, and clovers, and vetches, and sallows are, that's all the officers in the yard. All the hard standing there is gone. Of course, situations like this, valerian is another of the plants to colonise very quickly. And this stretch of valerian and the valerian that runs along the bottom and elsewhere on this side has hosted a number of hummingbird hawk moths. This was a regular spot that Dillis and I used to call in at, have five minutes just scanning through the gate and you could see the hummingbird hawk moths. I think we had several here at one time, you could have two or three in favourable years. One would be nice today but Typically hummingbird hawk moths in June are very brief and sort of five minute feeders and then off. I'd be happy with one for five minutes. It's all right, I was distracted then by a small skipper. Just shows you how quickly butterflies like small skippers will move into a site if given the opportunity. There's quite a bit of grass growing here. Obviously creating a perfect habitat for skippers but also a variety of butterflies as well. We'll get ringlet here and gatekeeper, meadow browns, all the whites, most of the nymphalids, at least all the ones that you would expect to see in your garden. It's really a treat, a little oasis tucked away right in the heart of a former mining town. Personally, I think this will be a massive shame and a massive loss when this goes under the bulldozer at some time, which it inevitably will do. You have to admit that if it wasn't for the sound of the children playing in the local school playground just across the road there and perhaps the noise of the traffic you wouldn't have guessed that I was sat in the middle of a mining town in North Nottinghamshire but here I am sites like this in terms of wildlife and their benefits and usefulness to wildlife they're immense, they're as important, every bit as important as your nature reserves, they really are. The variety, or the diversity, as you have to call it nowadays, is great here. I wish I'd sort of spent more time here actually and studied it, but it wasn't always like this. Now it's just a, a sea of this beautiful Vipers Bugloss lots of valerian. I know lots of people don't like valerian. I love it and so do hummingbird hawk moths and most other insects. There's all these vetches and mignonette and these clovers and thistles. It really is a haven, a real oasis within this post-industrial town, this former mining town. I dare say that it won't be here for much longer and that the wheels are in motion to eradicate it all and build some lovely houses. Personally I'd rather see it like this, but I'm in the minority. Most people walk past this, we've got roads at either end, they'll walk past it or drive past it, never even give it a glance. It's just full of weeds to the majority of people, but these weeds, just look at them beautiful and practical too for insects and especially pollinators like bumblebees and honeybees and a range of other species. It's a proper little wildlife haven and it won't be here too much longer, that's the sad thing about it. Almost as sad as the fact that there's children rather young now and enjoying themselves clearly in the playground 
will never have a clue by the time they become adults and will have long forgotten about this place. They'll have forgotten that it was ever here. And then by the time they're adults, this will no, no doubt be houses or flats. I know what I'd rather see here. And I'm seeing it now. We really need to think a lot more. It's a shame that we can't keep these areas. It's just like one massive garden. And of course gardens are fast disappearing now as the public can't be bothered to garden. Nature does a good job of gardening herself. And she's transformed this once derelict site into a sea of nectar, flowers and beauty. But look at this. Woman bird Hawkmoss and I'm stood within a foot of this. Never saw this come in. Well that was just one of those quite outstanding moments that nature suddenly throws at you completely out of the blue. Although the species involved, hummingbird hawkmoth, wasn't really a surprise, but I had expected to perhaps maybe get one on the Valerian just back there. But I was stood here just filming some bumblebees just nectaring on this viper's buglus. And then I saw something appear at the back of this flower spike. I suspected what it was. And then as you can see from the video, it was a hummingbird hawk moth. Rather the worse for wear with a bit of wear on the thorax. Who cares? I actually got to film a few seconds of a hummingbird hawk moth and I was within a foot of it. Do you know, nature's wonderful most of the time. Exceptional most of the time. Unbeatable all of the time. And on this valerium, there's another hummingbird hawk moth, and I can tell this is different because this is immaculate. There's no damage to the hairs on the thorax. It's flighty, but it's in good condition. I do love these and I never tire of seeing these. So there's at least two here, but I suspect there might be more. Certainly visiting and calling in. It's the flowers that attract it and it's this stuff, Valerian, it works every time. You can see how this moth gets its name. Just look at that. Oh! It's gradually working its way up this Valerian. You'll have to excuse the camera skills or lack of camera skills. But these are really flighty, marvellous things. Day flying, of course, occasionally turn up at traps. What a super thing. Well, the last quarter of an hour has totally altered what I've got to edit for this video. I thought it was going to be quite straightforward. Pull one here, film an opening or a couple of openings as I normally do. Shoot a lot of flowers and some insects and waffle on a bit. And then shoot a couple of endings, which it did. And then two hummingbird hawk moths turned up. Might be another one yet, because I've got to walk back through this lot. But it just goes to show you that nature will provide the most astounding sights and records sometimes if you prepare to visit out of the way places such as this. Waste ground is far from being waste ground. The abundance of nectar bearing flowers here 
is truly wonderful and consequently it's attracting all the insects lots of bumblebees and honeybees they're all using it it's like one big community garden it's fabulous all to disappear within a few years and then the hummingbird hawk wants to come along and change everything I don't know what I'm going to turn this video into now but wherever you've got a valerian and buddleys you've got the potential for hummingbird hawk moth species like that to drop in a lot of insects especially migrant moths they don't care where the next source is could be in the middle of the most fantastic nature reserve or in the middle of some waste ground in the former not smiling town of market warsaw they don't care as long as it's there it's like the old field of dreams saying from build it and he will come this is no baseball pitch but it's a culinary delight for invertebrates